guys are wondering i'm back again using the same well still the same outfit i saw this today at the uh supermarket at woolly specifically golden crunch microchip shoestring i thought interesting and it says health star rating four stars out of five come on we know this is not healthy okay who are they trying to kid Anyway, let's check out the packaging and then we're gonna put it in the microwave and have a test test afterwards. Golden microwave chip cook three minutes, three and a half minutes. I feel like everything is so instant these days. Open here. Okay, before we open, super quick, blah, blah, blah. Crunchy on the outside. Okay. Made in Germany, guys. Okay, so I want to see the instruction. It's always important to read the instruction. Okay, hold on, let me just... Why is it not wanting to focus? Open box. Whack it in in the microwave with lid fully open for maximum crunch. Okay, so mine is about... 3 minutes and 30 seconds and then take it out on the microwave and slightly season with salt. Now close and the lid and give it a shake. Stand for 2 minutes with the lid open for maximum chip crunch and begin. Okay, so the first job is to open the box and then whack it in for 3 and a half minutes. So that's what we're going to do. Open here. Oh, can I do this with one hand? Is it a doable one hand? One hander activity? I'm actually looking at this through the um, through my screen rather than in real life, which is crazy if you think about it. Okay, so can I open this? Okay, so I should be. Okay, so it should be. It's it's perforated, so it should. I, I should be able to just slide my hand, technically speaking, and it should, well, that's a bit of a, okay, so that did not go as planned, but I managed to do it with one hand. It's a bit oily on the inside, so it says um, with the lid open, whack it in for three and a half minutes. So we shall wait three and a half minutes. Time cook three three zero. And we will wait. Oh, it's so good. It does look very much like the um you know the usual shoestring french fries that you put in the oven so it says to put seasoning and we shake it so i got some sea salt himalayan table salt it's just from coles nothing fancy generous amount ground black pepper Maybe not too much. And then we're gonna shake it. Maybe over the sink. Uh, and then it says stand for two minutes with lid open for maximum chip and crunch. So we are going to wait two minutes. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. So it has been two minutes, and this is how it looks after two minutes sitting. It says waited to, to wait two minutes. We waited. Oh my god, guys, it's actually crunchy. What? Okay, maybe not as crunchy if you buy them at Mecca's. But this is really good. Like, if you take Mecca's as the measurement of like um, regular shoestring fries, 
this is about 3.8 out of 5 really close to that how much was this again but this is expensive though I think it's about three dollars four dollars it's around that much it's around that price so it's probably better if you buy a whole bag one kilo bag of like the regular um, no brand one and it costs you two dollars for one kilogram this one is How much is this? This one is oh, 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 140 gram. So for novelty reason, this is good. Actually, this is really good. It's still crunchy. I cannot believe that it's crunchy. This is good guys, but I think like for the effort, I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be um, non-biased here. Will I buy this again? Maybe not. I think it's too expensive for 140 gram. Do I regret buying it? No, I did not. Because this doesn't turn out to be good. But for the same amount of money, you can go and buy like Macca's fries large one for the same price and it doesn't taste weird this one have a stiffness to it like you can see like it's pretty stiff even though it's crunchy it's stiff so you can taste a little bit of the weakness but for something that I thought was gonna fail this is pretty good. You won't regret buying this. But why would you? You can just go to Macca's for the same price. And get like a fresh chips. Maybe you can get one of those frozen ones. And microwave it for three and a half minutes and put it like in a cotton box like this and like just grab a little bit a hundred gram maybe it works I don't know I feel like even though this is good it's still not worth the buy why is that let me know Because if you really like chips, you would just go to you know your local chip shop and then buy one. Macca's, KFC, whatever that is closest to you. And if you're a chip skate like me, you would just buy like one kilogram for two dollars worth of frozen chips and put it in the oven. And this is like in between that so it doesn't make sense in my head there's a lot too actually 140 grams is quite a lot actually I'm pretty surprised so this is good texture maybe about 3.5 out of 5 taste 5 Point five out of five. Crunchiness level uh, three point eight out of five. Um, taste. This is the regular, and then you put your own seasoning in there. But this is really good. If you guys like want to just give it a go and try it, uh, you should buy it and try it. And let me know whether you're going to buy this again. Or is it just me being a chip skate and not wanting to spend any more money. Um, by buying only like 140 gram of this. I probably just better stick it off. Stick it in the oven and then wait for 20 minutes. 
rather than pop it in the microwave for three minutes. Because we have to wait two other minutes, so it's basically five minutes altogether. Let me know. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm still not wearing the same shirt. <laughs>